Delapri Abbey has been owned by the council since early in the 20th century and for many years it was used as an archive store by the county council. They had a lease on it and then there was a very strong local campaign from, by local residents to keep it and restore it and that was worked up into a bid to the Heritage Lottery Fund. When this restoration is complete, it will become a great vis visitor attraction, a place for events and weddings, and it has a fascinating story and history to tell. It's going to be a fantastic place to visit. There's going to be so much going on here. Visitors will be able to come and find out all about the history of the Abbey and the characters and the people that used to live here. They'll be able to actually come into the Abbey and see inside properly for the first time in 900 years because it's never really been open to the public before. Part of the work that's been undertaken on the Abbey is the construction of a new building or a new conservatory in an area which is known as the Gap Site. When Robert Woodhead started to level that area in order to start building the new building, we actually discovered some rather exciting brick features. We didn't know they were there uh, when they were uncovered. You know, Robert Woodhead stopped work and the archaeologists were called in to uncover it and record it. The biggest challenge on this project has been the basement. I mean, bear in mind it's all hand dug. No one knew what was down, what we were going to find below ground level. The actual solid ground we've taken out, two metres of solid ground. The walls are very unstable. The next part of the job in this area is the drainage first and underfloor ventilation system. The engineers are working at the moment doing the first fix plumbing on the first floor. That's nearly complete now. The electricians are starting next week doing first fix electrics. The joiners are on site. I've got some eight joiners on site. We're restoring every window, the, the, the old-fashioned sash windows, every window's coming out and completely renewed and re refurbished. It's been great working with Robert Woodheads. Uh, they have made it really easy to be working on a construction site. Um, they are able to facilitate whatever we need to do. We want to obviously make sure that the public are involved. We want to hold open days, do things like painting on the murals, have children in to do filming, and Robert Woodheads every step of the way have been willing and able to facilitate that. They can't do enough to help us. I enjoy coming to work. It might sound a bit corny and a bit old fashioned to say that, but I love working and this type of work. I'm very passionate about conservation. It's important that we restore and preserve properties like this for the future generations. When we're dead and gone, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, years to come, they can say, well, this was done by my great-granddad.